Well, good morning, Bryce. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. Please do consider subscribing and hitting the notification icon, all the other good stuff. It really, really helps my channel at the moment. Uh, now you may notice I've not posted anything uh, for the last week. That's because my channel got demonetized. Um, for following advice that somebody had posted on YouTube, funny enough, but there we go, that's another story. Uh, you may notice today that I'm not wearing a helmet. Well, that's correct, it is summer. You never see any police out in the streets anymore. So I'm figuring, what the hell, I'm not gonna bother. I'm getting uh, stared down by everybody for not having a crash helmet on, but, you know, summertime, I do like the wind rushing through my uh, curly locks, but uh, there we go, so, thank you. Now that brings me to the point of this video. Um, this e-moped, this e-chopper, got a maximum speed about 38, 39 kilometers an hour, uh, miles an hour, sorry. Um, most e-bikes these days, they're supposed to be limited to 15 miles an hour, but, or 15.5 miles an hour but clearly a lot of them are not. Now, because this is registered, technically registered as a moped, I have to wear a crash helmet when I'm only doing 20, 25 miles an hour faster than a normal e-bike. Is that right? Should I have to wear something on me nut when there's people bombing about on other e-bikes that don't have to wear it. So I'm doing an experiment this summer. I'm gonna commute every day with no crash helmet. I'm gonna see how long it is before I get uh, pulled by the police. Um, I'm fairly confident that I can make it through the rest of the summer without getting a tug by the police. I'm fairly confident. I mean, I mean, my commute to work's only three and a half miles anyway, and only sort of a bit of it is main roads. Uh, as you just saw us coming through, there's not a lot of traffic this time of morning. Um, I want to give it a go. Uh, if I get a tug, hopefully I'll have some sort of, I've got a squeak there. Hopefully I'll have some sort of recording equipment with me. So if I do get a pull by the police and get fined or whatever it is they do for not wearing a crash helmet, I will get it recorded, I will video it. And I'll probably get nabbed for that as well, for recording them while they're detaining me or uh, however it goes. But uh, yeah, um, I would say I'm fairly confident I'm gonna manage this through the summer which is a few more months yet and not get pulled by the police there we go another car now there are others of you out there that may think what is that twat doing yeah okay well look at the moment well, I'm doing about 35 now, if I come off, the way I've always looked at it, I've always had trikes and everything and motorbikes and whatnot. The way I've always looked at it is, it's my head. If I want to bounce down the road on my head, I will. Uh, I've, all, I've always had a pet. I've got a fresh rattle there. Stop and see what this rattle is. Yeah, I've, um, 
I've always had a thing that crash helmets should be voluntary. What, what's rattling under there? Does something come loose? No, just make it up. Yeah, um, years ago, I used to ride through the middle of London with no crash helmet on, on a uh, CB750. Um, you know, it's my choice. I don't want to wear a helmet. I'm not going to wear a helmet. And that's partly what this experiment, if you like, is about. But if, um, what's right here? Oh, it's been tall bag. I don't, I, I don't normally hear it because I normally got a crash on when covering my ears. So I can hear every squeak and everything on this bike now. Uh, which has prompted me to get it in at the weekend for a little service, I suppose. Um, so yeah, it's my head. I don't want to wear a helmet. I'm not going to wear a helmet. If I get nicked, so be it, I'll get nicked. We'll get it recorded and we'll make good uh, footage, obviously. Um, but there we go. So after my last video, as you can see, I'm still riding the uh, e-chopper. And part of the reason I'm making this content as well on this e-chopper is nobody else in the UK is. Now, I'm not getting a lot of views and likes on it. So maybe there's, well, well I know there's not many of these here. There's, there's certainly none down this neck of the woods. I think there's one up in Western Supermare. And I know there's a company in London that has imported these. And they're <coughs> uh, airbrushing them or wrapping them and selling them for a lot of money. And I know that because that Keith Lemon bloke has uh, just bought one or bought one fairly recently. Um, when I first got this, I didn't, I'd seen no videos about it at all. And then the first video I saw happened to be Keith Lemon on one. Um, now Keith Lemon, I don't like Keith Lemon from what I see about Keith Lemon on the telly, but I could be totally wrong in uh, that. That could be 100% act with him. Uh, he could be a perfectly nice bloke out in real life, but who knows? I, I, I don't like him. Want to see on telly? So, so yeah, he was the uh, first person that I see to be riding one of these on the uh, roof, I think, of a car park or uh, Sterling Motorcycles, maybe is it in London that's importing and badging these up? But uh, this one's. Nothing quite as fancy as that. This is just the plain one without the wrapping. I'm thinking of doing some airbrushing on it at some stage, but then again, who knows? Uh, if I end up getting nicked for no helmet, I'll end up in jail, so it doesn't make any else, does it? Um, anyway, uh, yeah, back to the point. Uh, the reason I'm making this content, nobody else is. Uh, now, I follow a bloke in Germany called Yadbo from Yadbo's Garage. Uh, please do go and check out his channel. Um, I've sp Now, he's, he's been doing a lot of work on this, on the electrics, and unfortunately, it is all in German, so I can't understand it. Now, I've messaged him a few times, and he has promised, after he's finished the series, finished the work on his electricals, I don't know if it's broken, I really don't understand a word of German apart from Ein Bier Bitter. And that's all you needed to know in the army. Um, so, yeah, I've been following his channel and he has uh, promised at the end, once he does get it fixed or he's finished working it for whatever reason, he's going to do a summary for the UK audience, uh, albeit a small audience, I think. Um, I think there's enough of us to take an interest purely because there is no content. So uh, do go and visit his channel. I'll put the link up. What was that there? There's something big in the bush there. I've got to go and have a look. Yeah, I'll, I'll put the link up for his channel in the comments below. 
Vamos lá. Oh, maybe it's a monster or something. Or I don't know. Anyway, yeah, I'll put the link up for his channel. So do go and pay him a visit, uh, show him some love. He's he's not getting hundreds of um, views along with me as well. So look at that. Look, since I've come on this ten-minute journey, a spider has managed to get a bit of web from the pole to my handlebar. Unbelievable! Unbelievable! So there you go, that's, that's my content today. Uh, please stay tuned, press the uh, notification icons, etc. And join me on this experiment. See how long it is before I get arrested. This bit of the journey, I'm never gonna get arrested because it's a lane. It's, cut, it's a public road, but it's only a narrow road. So thank you for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Don't forget, like, subscribe and uh, see you next time. Cheers.